Hello everybody and welcome back to our NASCAR Heat Evolution career mode here on the PS4. My name is James or JT Plays and last time we left off at Richmond International Speedway we finished the Toyota Owners 400 not in a great spot 38th I think it just said right there but um today is a new race this week is a new race and we're at Talladega Alabama for the Geico 500 so Talladega what can you expect well it's just like Daytona it's the fastest track on the circuit it's three four wide racing basically every lap because the track is wide enough to contain that and of course there's the big one always the question is when is it going to happen and how many cars so with that said as a rookie, we're just going to try and play smart pitch strategy. It is a 13 lap race today, and uh, you get about 10 laps on field. So come in lap three, transitioning into four. Hopefully, we'll not be a lap down at that point, and uh, we can hopefully get a top 30 finish because we need a good finish, and we are slipping in the points. And the only way that's going to help is a good performance here so in qualifying in lap one a little hot lap nothing really spectacular to see and same thing with lap two obviously we're a rookie we don't have the engine power we don't have the suspension transmission yeah we're gonna get dead last but it's all about what we do in the race and speaking of the race here's rick allen with the call to start the geico 500 rick allen take it away 2.66 miles, Talladega Super Speedway is the largest track on the NASCAR circuit. Every inch of this track is packed with tight racing and the possibility of the big one right around every turn. The drivers dread the uncertainty that Talladega provides, but the fans love every minute of the close racing. This is Talladega. There's no place quite like it. Thank you, Rick Allen. Green flag is in the air, and we are ready to go racing from Talladega, Alabama. Take the first four letters from Talladega, you get tall, because it's going to be a tall order today. Heading into lap number one, into turn one, we're already bumping doors with Danica Patrick, and she sends us flying way back, and... A whole lot slower down to 130 miles an hour at Talladega that's mince me so now guess what we're not gonna mess with Danica if we ever see her again we're a rookie we're gonna drive smart but that sets us back big time and I mean big time ladies and gentlemen so we're gonna have our uh, work cut out for us already I didn't expect Danica to slam into us twice I think that's what happened anyway we were holding the middle lane, we were passing, I think, Robbie Gordon and Regan Smith on the outside, or on the inside, sorry. And then we were trying to get past Danica on the outside, and one thing led to another, and we get put into a wall. So, hopefully something we won't see all race long. Lap 1 is complete, 1 minute 6 seconds. That's probably got to be the slowest lap 1 in NASCAR history, Talladega. So, put that behind us, hopefully set a record, not a good one, but hopefully set a record. And uh, we'll just continue driving our car. Now, with the adaptive AI that NASCAR Heat Evolution has, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a fun race because we're going to catch right back up here. And uh, you're going to see in a couple of seconds, we're going to catch this pack heading into lap number three. And it's not going to be a pretty sight for one driver. Why? Well... You're gonna find out right now because heading into lap into lap number three, sorry, we are just driving along, we're having our race, and it looks like Regan Smith forgot to put on the brakes. It looks like he was going really slow, something wrong with his car, and we tried to avoid him. Obviously not intentional that we're gonna run into the back of him coming into our pit stop lap, but it looks like something broke down for him, and unfortunately, we had no time to do anything. We saw it a little bit too late, and that happens in NASCAR. So, luckily though, he saved it. Regan Smith is fine. We probably made an enemy uh, if we see each other later in the race, no matter what our positions are. But now we're coming into pit road. 
Guys, and lot three transitioning into four. We are still not a lap down. Remember, we caught the pack. That's where Regan Smith was in 39th. And uh, coming into the pits, 15.4 seconds stop. That's very good for us, especially our pit crew. Again, being a rookie, we're not going to have the funny. We're not going to have the money the other teams have. But you know what? 15.4 is A-OK -okay with me. And a little interesting fact here. Watch that position ticker go down and down and down and down. We were 38th heading into lap number 9 as we scraped the wall there. In the turn 2, we're 28th. We've made our pit stop. Other guys are making their pit stop now. And we're 26 and we're gaining so this is exactly what we were talking about before the race during qualifying we get those positions off the pit strategy we don't make mistakes it's talladega it's a wild card race we've said that for a few weeks now leading up to this race and look at this we're going 175 these guys are on old tires none of them have pitted yet you know what we're gonna take advantage and we actually crack the top 20. Lap 9 of 20. 5 to go. 4 to go this time. Bye. We're in 18th, 17th, 16th. The number keeps dropping. And by lap 10, we're 15th position on the scoreboard. So, hey, you know what? This is a great day for us. The winner gets $29,000 in his purse. Plus uh, primary sponsor, secondary sponsor race goal whatever you want to put out there but you know what our race goal top 35 i think we're gonna crack this unless something funky happens but otherwise nothing's gonna happen to us now we are on old tires at this point obviously because lap four we pitted or lap three we pitted it's lap 10 we're on seven lap old tires these guys are coming out obviously a they have the engine power to pass us without tires but B, they also have first tires, some of these guys too. So, we're in 15th. We're trying to hold off Kurt Busch here. And it looks like Matt Kenseth or David Gillen. And we do that. We're still 15th. Final lap of the Geico 500. We have Landon Castle in the Florida Lottery card behind us. And you know what? He's going to say, you know what? It. I like this day. I'm up here in 16th, you're up here in 15th, we're not going to screw each other over, let's go take a victory for the small teams, and that's A-OK -okay with me. We come home 15th at Talladega, first uh, big, big finish since Daytona 500, where we finished 14th, that is our only other top 15, and then Atlanta was our top 20, our second one. And then Bristol, 19th. That was our third. So this is our fourth top 20 finish of the year. Second top 15. And a little interesting thing happened during the race. We're in replay mode right now. And you're going to see an instance between us and Eric Almarola. Where he banged us into the wall. Basically for no reason. So, guys... Uh, I don't really know what I did to piss him off, but I guess I did something. You see, we're trying to figure out the lap that happened it on and going back. And here we go, guys. Here's Eric Amarola on our back bumper. We're trying to get a good angle, but watch this. He literally slides up into us. You can't get loose in Talladega. So that was completely intentional. I don't know why. And then, of course, that's where we got passed, but then we got the spots back. So, in the end, it didn't matter because Almirola may have finished ahead of us, but he did not screw our race up. So, 15th place, we come home. That is a check mark day. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal feeling. We get $18,400 from the race itself, $5,000 from our sponsor, and $875 from our secondary sponsor and oh by the way those points go a long way we jump from 96 to 122 and in reality you think that would get you a lot well it gets us one spot however we are in the 34th points position fastest lap and now it's time for the accolades Kevin Harvey gets the fastest lap most laps led goes to Austin Dillon at five on the move goes to yours truly started dead last finished 15th and then tough break 
will go to Casey Mir, starting ninth, finished 39th. He had troubles with his cars. But guys, next week, it is Kansas in the heartland for the GoBowling.com 400 under the lights race. Should be a lot of fun. But before that, we have an upgrade to make a stamping equipment. It gives us 1.75% airflow improvement. Grill tape if you want to run faster. It's just going to cool the car down even more. So guys, we will see you from Kansas in the heartland next week. This week was a good race. 15th finishing spot, our fourth top 20 of the year. Still looking for that win. I'm sure it'll come in the next Daytona race or maybe even in the chase if we're not relevant. We'll see you guys later. Take care.